Less is actually more when it comes to driving the 2023 BMW M2. Enthusiasts of all stripes often get trapped into the thinking, more, automatically means, better. Audiophiles often believe a higher wattage sound system sounds better than a lower one. Shutterbugs might think more megapixels will let them shoot higher quality photos. Gamers might think a higher resolution TV automatically translates into better graphics. And car enthusiasts often believe we want a performance car with the biggest engine, the highest top speed, and the quickest acceleration. But sometimes, actually, you don't want all that. What you really want is the smallest, least powerful, and cheapest member of BMW's high-performance M lineup, the new 2023 BMW M2. The Dietz. Built off BMW's modular CLAR platform for the first time, the new G87 2023 M2 is for all intents and purposes a chopped up and scaled down version of the existing G82 generation BMW M4. About 13 inches shorter, a quarter inch narrower, and roughly 100 pounds lighter than the M4, the new M2 sports the same 3.0-litre twin-turbo i6 engine and the choice of the same 6-speed manual or 8-speed automatic transmission as its big brother. Output in the smaller 2023 BMW M2 is limited to 453 horsepower and 406 pound-foot of torque, down 20 horses while matching the torque figure for no other reason than BMW felt the more expensive $77,995 M4 should have more power than the cheaper $63,195 M2. Rounding out the new M2 package are electronically adaptive dampers, an electronic rear differential, and the same suite of adjustable GoFAR software found in other M products, all of which you can read about in detail in our drive of the M2 prototype. Behind the wheel. Although the 20-horsepower chasm between the M2 and M4 seems notable on paper, if our rural Arizona first drive of a manual-equipped 2023 BMW M2 is any indication, you won't miss it. The 2 Series Coupe was already a sleeper favorite among the Motor Trend staff, and the performance add-ons found with the new M2 only make it better. There's an innate, organic purity to the smallest BMW M car a feeling that's absent in some of the Mark's larger offerings. The engine makes great V8 light gobs of torque, and it pulls hard as the tack needle swings north of 7,000 RPM. The manual gearbox is one of BMW's better efforts, with direct, mechanical throws making it the kind of transmission you sometimes shift, just because. Turn off the M2's auto rev match downshift feature, and the car becomes even more enjoyable the engine's response seemingly perfectly synced with your throttle inputs. The 2023 BMW M2 steering and chassis control are exceptional, too. Although the steering wheel itself feels bus-sized in a car as small as the M2, steering effort is fingertip light, and it seems like you can feel each of the tire's tread blocks pouring at the road as you dive into a corner. Chassis and suspension tuning is impeccable, too, the chassis doesn't get upset on rougher patches of pavement, and it's easy to steer with throttle input should you ever grow tired of using the wheel. Despite featuring brake-by-wire technology, the M2's brake pedal felt natural and easy to modulate accurately. Note, we haven't yet had a chance to drive the automatic-equipped M2, we look forward to testing it out soon on our home turf. Odds and Ends the rest of the 2023 BMW M2 package is standard fare for the 2 Series. The M Carbon Seats, one of few options available and part of the $9,900 Carbon Package, are surprisingly comfortable once you squeeze into them, and they remain so for long stints behind the wheel. The back seat is also surprisingly adult-friendly, even if it isn't as generous on headroom for six-footers as in the previous M2. The new FOC 2023 curved infotainment display is a neat addition, too, even if we miss some of the hard buttons that have been replaced. Ultimately, by doing away with much of its bigger brother's excesses, the 2023 BMW M2 is one of the rare modern performance cars you can actually fully enjoy in daily driving. Sure revving third gear to the red line will put you in extra-legal speed territory, but the new car remains just as engaging on freeways and around town as it is fun to drive at high speeds on a great back road. In real life, what more could you want?
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.